Hello friends, we are starting a very very important session, Forensic Medicine and Toxicology, previous year MCQs discussion. I have seen in last many exams, we can get almost 10 to 12 MCQ minimum in your Forensic Medicine. So it covers many MCQs. It's not a minor subject. And myself, Dr. Aklesha Jhamad, we are going to discuss all these MCQ one by one, which are very, very important topics. Let's start. See, the first one is, a man is brought by his wife as he calls another woman and achieves sexual gratification. My dear friend, whenever sexual gratification word comes, that's a sexual perversion by some abnormal act. Talking obscenity and sharing obscene picture. Very, very important word, sharing obscene pictures. Obscene telephone calls. What does the patient most likely have? What is the type of perversion patient have? Anyone? Frotterism, voyeurism, scatologia, and coprophilia. See, here the answer is scatologia. By obscene video call, by obscene video call or obscene pictures, by obscene telephone calls, if you are satisfied, this is known as scatologia. Very, very important, sir. Frotterism, and Dr. Sir, you can remember frotterism. You are rubbing a female, F for female. You are rubbing a female private parts in a crowded place. And Dr. Sir, you can remember by a trick, F, R, G, O, O. So the third is O, look like zero. The IPC will be 290 IPC. Voyeurism, woe for voyeurism, woe for watching. That's a very simple trick, woe for watching. Watching nude woman, watching woman removing the clothes, this is voyeurism. Copro, copro is related with fecal matter. So sight of fecal matter, smell of the fecal matter, test of the fecal matter, this is coprophilia. Coprophilia. So definitely your answer is catalogia, very simple question. My dear friend, you can see excessive sexual desire in female is known as nymphomania. Excessive sexual desire in male is known as satyriasis. Satyriasis, very, very important. Dipoldism, a teacher beating a student. Teacher beating a student. If you are satisfied by this one, that is Dipoldism. And you can remember... D for Dipoldism, D for Danda, Danda se Marteo, then if you are satisfied by this mechanism, this is Dipoldism. Gerontophilia, it is sexually attracted towards old people and pedophile sex with children. So these are some more perversion you can get in your exam. But sir, here answer is catalogia. Now sir, very, very simple. A patient was brought to the casualty with greenish color skin. Yes, my dear friend, greenish color skin. Rotten egg smell, greenish color skin, rotten egg smell. Dr. Sir, remember, this is going in the favor of hydrogen sulfide, rotten egg smell. Anyone who can tell me what is the smell of cyanide? It's a bitter almond. The Anyone who can tell me the smell of cyanide? It's a bitter almond. Rotten egg smell, it's a hydrogen sulfide. Nitrite, no my dear friend, carbon monoxide. Anyone who can tell me? Which hypoxia carbon monoxide causes? Anyone? One question of the physiology must attend question. It is anemic hypoxia. It is anemic hypoxia. So anyway, sir, this is a very simple MCQ. The rotten egg smell, the answer is hydrogen sulfide. H2S, hydrogen sulfide. Now, sir, during uh, autopsy, the doctor tied the bronchus and immersed the lung in water to check whether it floats or sinks. Dr. Sir, it is all about lungs. It's a floating the lungs or sinking down the lungs. The test is identified as, which one, my dear friend? The answer is hydrostatic test. Dr. Sir, hydrostatic test is a test of lung. Hydrostatic test is a test of lung. Jettler test, actually, sir, Jettler test is done in drowning for Chloride ion in heart chamber. Chloride ion in heart chamber. Plockweight. Plockweight is a very important test, sir. It's a proportion. It's a proportion of lung weight divided by body weight. 
lung weight divided by body weight my dear friend this is known as plaquet test and it is it is used to see whether it is live born or dead born the last is diatom test my dear friend diatom diatom test diatom is also a very very important test too for anti mortem drowning anti mortem drowning diatoms are actually unicellular algae diatoms are actually unicellular algae so along with the lung it goes to the circulation so anyways hydrostatic test is a test of lung and it is used to see whether the fetus is live born or dead born very very potential one live born or dead born so this is very simple question generally asked in the exam identify the type of abuser here he is abusing by using bag plastic bag so it's a bagging bagging friends in huffing we use cloth piece for inhalation cloth piece sniffing we use container for inhalation snorting is an also example of nasal inhalation snorting all are example but sir this is a plastic bag so we can use a word bagging how to remember the trick is very simple sir bag plastic bag bagging and there is one more word ballooning we are using the word balloon you just remember huffing huff huff is a cloth you can remember huff handkerchief like h h it is huffing very very simple questions now sir a man was found be lying dead on the ground his friend saw a snake doctor this is a snake actually this is the picture of the snake and my dear friend what is the most probable cause of death first the question what is this snake sir this snake is kareeth that is common kareeth bangarus how to identify sir you can see the black and white strips black and white strips now sir because this snake is neurotoxic actually kareeth and cobra are neurotoxic so it causes coma and my dear friend the cause of death is respiratory muscle paralysis rmp respiratory muscle paralysis so it leads respiratory muscle failure it leads respiratory muscle failure it is neurotoxin common kareeth so very very simple explanation my dear friend it's a respiratory failure is the cause of death it's a neurotoxic bangarus the geological name is bangarus bangarus now sir a 14 year old girl was kidnapped by a male the police arrested him but he died in police custody look sir a very very important any death in police custody it is a magistrate inquest it is a magistrate inquest few questions magistrate inquest is 176 crpc police investigation is the most common inquest it is 174 crpc so again i am highlighting my dear friend which is the most common inquest the answer is police but sir in police custodial death we go for magistrate inquest which crpc it comes in 176 so police inquest is by police io investigation officer and it is judicial magistrate or sometime it is a executive magistrate the few other example of magistrate that can be executive magistrate so this is magistrate inquest if the person die in police custody very very simple mcq a dead body was found and with a wound over the neck clean cut edges my dear friend with crushed tissue along with disruption of vertebra three things are given my dear friend the edges are clean cut first one the edges are clean cut second the tissue is crushed with disruption of the vertebra it means something which is having heavy base now sir these kind of injury can be produced by x because if you see the x x has sharp edge with heavy base sharp edge with heavy base look sir the injury produced by this weapon is known as chop wound look sir keep in mind one thing that if you have clean cut edges cut tissue 
as well as crushed tissue with vertebral bone fracture it means something which is very heavy and cutting this this is known as chop wound chop wound it is not incised in incised no crushed tissue it will be clean cut only in laceration there is no clean cut it is only and only irregular marching in avulsion there will be separation if the tissue is separated it is known as avulsion so this is another very very potential word when a victim of unlawful act was dying the police recorded the dying declaration actually sir it is a word which is known as dying declaration the doctor certified that victim was conscious that is a composed mentis and mentally oriented that's a composed mentis and this dying declaration will be considered invalid this dying declaration is considered invalid when the victim is not dead my dear friend because for dying declaration to be valid victim should be died and few questions of the dying declaration dying declaration is 32 indian evidence act which is followed in india and my dear friend it is only valid it is only valid when the person dies only valid when the person dies this is dying declaration a very very potential mcq so it's very simple dying deposition is superior dying deposition is superior than dying declaration the reason is that in dying deposition it is cross examination present in dying declaration cross examination is not needed so anyways this is dying declaration identify the fingerprint pattern my dear friend actually sir this is a very important mcq we have four type of fingerprint you can see the first one is loop variety this is the first one this is loop variety loop is just like hairpin loop is just like hairpin second variety is arch arch is just like a mountain and whirl whirl is just like a circle whirl is just like a circle and there is one more variety there is one more variety which is composite actually composite is a mixed pattern so you can see love wife and children love wife and children love loop wife whirl and arch children composite most common is loop and least common is this now how would you identify whether it is a loop or arch or whirl because composite is a mixed pattern so no need to go for the composite see in loop variety if you see this is like see the things which converge it is known as core and the meeting point from three direction it is known as delta meeting point from three direction it is known as delta so you can see in loop we have one core and one delta meeting point from three direction is delta and converging is this one now this is arch you can see arch is yes this is just like this arch is just like this no core no delta it is arch here if you see the whirl variety whirl here you can see the one delta two delta and one core sometime two core core is convergence so as we can see in this picture as we can see in this picture yes my dear friend it is no core no delta as you can see there is a no meeting point from three direction and no this is divergence this is just like a mountain divergence not convergence looks so have no core no delta this will be arch variety a very very potential mcq so by this you can remember loop has one core and one delta arch has no core and no delta but sir just remember one core and two delta that will be whirl that will be whirl you just remember love wife and children and just remember one more thing in india the first fingerprint bureau was established in kolkata it is kolkata okay so this is very very important now sir a 18 year old female was sexually assaulted by a 20 year old male barbarios test was performed actually sir very simple question and it is showing yellow needle shape crystal yellow needle shape crystal what it detects sir actually in barbarios itself barbarios itself s s for barbarios s for s for it detects permian crystal 
Barbirios S. It is Fermin crystal. Florence. One question comes in exam. Florence C. It detects choline crystal. C C. Acid phosphatase test is good when sperm are absent. This question comes in exam. So you can see this is Barbirios test. It detects spermine crystal, yellow needle. And look, sir, actually, these crystals are picrate. Spermine picrate. S. It is spermine. So how would you remember, sir? Barber. Barber. Barber kya karta hai? Barber you use yellow needle to pick your sperm. Yellow needle to pick your sperm. Picrate. This is Barbirios. Okay. So the next very, very important test is Florence. Florence C. Yellow needle we have discussed. It's a Florence detect choline crystal. Choline. C. C. Choline crystal. Florence detect choline crystal. It's a dark brown. You can remember dark brown. How to choline is equal to Kohli. Kohli. Virat Kohli. What's the color of Virat Kohli? Every human is a dark brown in India. So dark brown crystal. Barber picks yellow needle. Very, very important, sir. A female fake pregnancy and still parents presents a child later to blackmailing a mean. And also blackmailing. Blackmailing, feigned pregnancy, fake pregnancy, kidnapping the child. This is supposititious child. And my dear friend, Supposititious child is also known as fictitious child. Superfecundation, posthumation, superfetation. See, posthumous child, a child born after death of father or death of parents. Child born after death of father or parents is posthumous child. Superfecundation has one T and fetation has two T. So I have made a trick for you. Fetation two T. In 2MC cycle, 2MC cycle, 2 ova are fertilized by 2 act of coitus. By 2 act of coitus. Coitus is a sexual intercourse. This is superfetation. Fit, fecundation has 1T in 1MC cycle. That means in same MC cycle. Same thing, same MC cycle, yes, two OVAR fertilized by two act of coitus, one MC cycle, same MC cycle. So anyways, I have discussed every definition because these four definitions are very important. For blackmailing a main, we use a child that is known as supposititious child, fictitious child. Very, very important word. Now, sir, a female after four years of marriage died. Actually, sir, it's a very important word, four years of marriage. Any woman died within seven years of her marriage. Actually, sir, this will be considered a case of magistrate inquest. My dear friend, dowry death or any married woman dies within seven years of, year of her marriage is a magistrate inquest. So it was and, and it was claimed like she was tortured for dowry. The inquest will be done by magistrate. And also remember, magistrate inquest is done in a, B, C, D, E, F. These six type of death. Magistrate inquest is done in these six type of death. Example, mental asylum. Second example, police beating. Third example, custodial death. Fourth example, dowry death or within seven years of her marriage, she died. Fifth example, exhumation digging out of the dead body and sixth example death in police firing these are the death in which magistrate conduct the inquest the investigating officer is magistrate and i already discussed which crpc is this my dear friend it's a 176 crpc so this is magistrate inquest a very very potential mc magistrate inquest now sir a gunshot case was brought for autopsy, shown an entry wound. Actually, this will be a very important feature of the entry wound we are going to discuss. With inverted margin, surrounded by tattooing, my dear friend, surrounded by tattooing, but blackening and singeing of hair is not noted. Sir, I am telling you, singeing is because of flame, blackening is because of gunpowder, smoke of the gunpowder. 
and tattooing is smock is blackening is because of smock and tattooing is because of unburnt gunpowder unburnt gunpowder so again i am telling you my dear friend singeing is because of flame blackening is because of smock and tattooing is because of gunpowder now before this i would like to come to this point sir these all are the feature of different type of wound you can see the number one is contact shot second is close shot the near shot then distant shot so this is contact so if muzzle impression present it's a contact shot other muzzle impression is not present if the shape of the wound is stellate shape if the shape of the wound is stellate shape this can be a contact shot other it's a circular other it is circular now in contact shot all the effect my dear friend in contact shot all the effect singeing blackening and tattooing burning blackening and tattooing singeing is also known as burning burning blackening and tattooing everything goes inside the track in close shot all three present there will be flame effect burning that is singeing blackening and tattooing that will be close only tattooing present because all other effect will be disappeared only gunpowder unburnt gunpowder goes that will be a near shot all are absent that will be a distant shot ha huh. abrasion collar and grease collar all are present in all, sh all shot so doctor sir here my highlighted word is in near shot only and only tattooing is present as you can see in this picture so i am highlighting this is only and only tattooing is present that will be a near shot okay in contact shot contact everything will be absent the reason is the reason is everything goes inside the track in close shot all burning blackening and tattooing all will be present in distant shot everything will be absent so here it will be burning blackening and tattooing all will be present in close shot so only tattooing my dear friend only tattooing that is a near shot or by chance aap confuse ho jao so you just remember a trick neat t for only tattooing is of near shot only tattooing is of near shot so doctor this is a very simple explanation of different kind of shot which ipc deals with medical negligence sir very simple trick i am telling you a a for accident any kind of negligence leading death will be or leading damage will be 304 a ipc b b for bride dowry death 304 b ipc 301 and 302 very simple sir punishment of murder this is important 302 ipc 301 is not important for you but sir b for bride a for accident or negligence and murder so here answer is 304 a ipc another very very potential mcq medical negligence comes under this what's the punishment two year plus minus fine Two year plus minus fine. This is medical negligence. Now, sir, a very very important word we are coming. That's sir, a case of road traffic accident which occurred twenty minutes ago. Look, sir, here the time is important. Only twenty minutes ago was brought for autopsy. In post mortem examination, there is a stiff neck, upper limb and lower limb, and primary relaxation phase is absent. It means, sir, whatever stiffening is there. whatever stiffening which is mentioned here that is immediately immediately after death now some rigor mortis takes some time to develop but one thing which can be seen immediately after death that is cadaveric spasm and my dear friend in cadaveric spasm primary relaxation phase is absent no primary relaxation phase so without any doubt here answer is cadaveric spasm heat stiffening is not there because heat stiffening is generally seen when the surrounding temperature is 65 or more than 65 it's a coagulation of muscle protein and cold stiffening is seen when surrounding temperature is less than less than minus 5 degrees centigrade rigor mortis takes some time to develop but sir here primary relaxation phase is absent it is seen in particular a group of muscle a group of muscle this is known as cadaveric spasm a very very potential one a dead fetus was found in water canal the crown heel length this is c 
HL, crown hin length, was found to be 25 cm. What's the approximate age of the fetus? Sir, first, the rule name is rule of Hasse. The rule of the name is rule of Hasse. And friends, for first five months and for next five months, we have two different formula. For first five months, for first five months, month is equal to the square root of the length in centimeter. For next five months, month is equal to length divided by 5 centimeter. This is rule of Hasse. The next five month rule is also known as Morrison's rule. This is also known as Morrison's rule. Very, very potential. So as you can see, for first five month, if the this is crown heel length, this is crown heel length. First five month, it's a 25 centimeter. So if it is 25 centimeter, the under root of 25 centimeter, without any doubt, it will be five months. It will be five months. So anyways, sir, this is rule of Hasse for first five months and next five months, you have to follow this formula. Month is equal to length divided by five centimeter. So this is very, very important. Sir. Which of the following bone is the most accurate for sexual differentiation? Sir? sir, if the word is given complete skeleton, that is the best answer. The 100% accuracy is by complete skeleton. But if complete skeleton is not given, the second best answer is pelvis bone. Complete skeleton give you 100% accuracy and pelvis bone give you 95% accuracy. So in this question, without any doubt, and observe, long bone gives you almost 80% accuracy, skull bone almost 90% accuracy. So without any doubt, here the answer goes to pelvis best bone for sexual differentiation. A person who was uh, found dead in the bushes with his hand tied, on examination of the body, there was cyanosis, petechial hemorrhages, abrasion and bruise around the mouth and lips. My dear friend, my highlighted point is mouth and lips. Yes. And there was association with facial congestion and edema. These are surrounding the mouth and lips. If the same question comes, these are surrounded on the neck, what will be there? I'll tell you. So mouth and lips, this is known as smothering, my dear friend. There is associated, this is the likely cause is smothering, this one. Because if you see abrasion and bruises surrounding the mouth and lips, this means the person has died by the homicide method. And what's the name of this homicide method? That is smothering mostly. If it is surrounding the neck, the best answer will be throttling. It will be throttling. Huh. It is asphyxia because of the cyanosis, petechial hemorrhages, these all are seen in asphyxia. But my dear friend, the question is asked, what is this? This is smothering. This is smothering. Now, sir, identify the active toxin extracted from the poisonous plant. Sir, it is this plant is a deadly nightshade plant, actually. Deadly nightshade plant, which is known as Atropa belladona. Atropa belladona. So it's a deadly nightshade plant, which is Atropa belladona. So it is having anticholinergic substance, definitely one of the anticholinergic substances is atropine. Another is hyoscyamine. This is Atropa belladona. You just identify this plant by this black color, deadly nightshade plant, anticholinergic. This is Calotropis, my dear friend. Calotropis is also known as Akdo or Madar. And you can use a word, rubber bush. Akdo. Madar or rubber bush, this is Calotropis. Calotropis. This is Digitalis purpura, which is also known as purple fox glow. And also, I've just remembered the mechanism of action of Digitalis purpura because the Digitalis drugs, digoxin, and everything comes from this plant, 
it inhibits sodium potassium atp just remember this also this is purple fox glow resin as communist my dear friend because the one of the active principle was given resin in this question the 10 seeds are fatal dose and oxab this is also known as rnd this is also known as rnd a small shiny seeds 10 seed are the fatal dose so as you can see the the question it is not calotropis we have seen the calotropis it is not digitalis a purple fox glow it's not resinous it is a deadly nightshade plant atropa belladonna now sir actually this is very simple question a 30 year old apparently healthy mean who was carrying laxative and enema apparatus developed abdominal pain at the airport abdominal pain at the airport an x-ray was done which appears as shown below so you can see this finding this finding and this finding so this is a very important word body packer syndrome body packer syndrome the word it is generally it is used for drug smuggling drug smuggling you are taking a drug putting in polythene on condom and swallowing this is known as body packer syndrome and my dear friend it's a fully planned it's a fully planned but sir if it is ruptures there will be death this is known as body packer syndrome if it is ill planned if it is ill planned like suddenly you are caught by custom authorities so this is then you put that in your cavity or swallow this is known as body stuffer syndrome this is known as body stuffer syndrome ill planning is a body stuffer well planning it's a body packer anyways sir this is body packer syndrome in judicial hanging sir the cause of death is due to my dear friend in judicial hanging just remember one thing which is very very important hangman fracture hangman fracture is a fracture of c2 vertebra and what is the location of hangman knot what is the location of the hangman knot this question also comes in exam it is left generally at the angle of mandible below angle of mandible lateral part anyways the cause of death is cervical vertebra fracture or dislocation that is judicial hanging judicial hanging and also there is a carotid tear you can get this question also in your exam carotid tear this sign is known as amuset sign in judicial hanging because of the sudden drop you have the carotid tear carotid tear that is known as amuset sign amuset sign now sir a child after eating a unknown fruit has been brought to your emergency department with the following sign and symptom dry mouth irrelevant irrelevant slurred speech dry and hot skin dilated pupil and sub everything is d d d so i am coming to 9 d poison which is anticholinergic which is anticholinergic there was a tachycardia as well as hyperthermia what is the most probable diagnosis this is the tura the tura a very commonly used roadside poison a very commonly used roadside poison or railway poison because why it is used because it causes delirium because it causes delirium like you are delirium everything is gone aapko khilate pilate aap so jate ho aapka saman gayab this is dhatura 9d poison dhatura very very important word sir so just remember this is dhatura not mushroom not cannabis not poppy poppy there will be coma and pinpoint pupil mushroom there will be different symptom cannabis there will be different symptom now sir a mean was found dead due to starvation which of the following find can be seen in autopsy my dear friend because like starvation is a loss of food and water supply that means you die due to lack of food and water supply a very very important finding is distension of gall bladder with bile okay you can see the other finding my dear friend 
extreme emaciation and general reduction of size and weight of the whole organ except brain means the whole organ size and weight is decreased except brain this is another very very potential word brown atrophy of the heart very important word and rigor mortis set is set in early and disappears early but sir one of the very important finding is gall bladder distension gall bladder distension with bile is a very very important finding of death which is of starvation so anyway sir distended gall bladder with bile this is very important finding of starvation cherry reds post mortem staining my dear friend because you can get question of the post mortem staining i am telling you the different color opium poisoning the post mortem staining is black color carbon monoxide it's a cherry red color hydrogen sulfide when we write down h2s i am telling you a trick h2s2 two, two color h2s2 two color that will be blue green and phosphorus phosphorus is showing dark brown color dark brown color you can remember few poison which causes dark brown color pan p a n pan when we eat pan there is a brown color in the mouth P for phosphorus, A for aniline, N for nitrite. That's a very simple trick. जब हम पान खाते हैं तो हमारा कलर मुंह का ब्राउन हो जाता है पान दैट्स ए पान फॉस्फोरस एनिलीन एंड नाइट्राइट एंड साइनाइड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन डिटेल साइनाइड इट इज ऑल्सो ब्रिक रेड it is also brick red so these are some color of the post mortem staining you can get in your exam but here answer is carbon monoxide poisoning now in barbirio's test i already discussed my dear friend in detail there is a needle shaped rhombic crystal in microscope that means you are detecting semen this is the test for semen barbirio's test a person who has committed a criminal offense was caught by the police and later brought to the criminal court now listen the court directs the police to transfer the case to the juvenile court look sir juvenile juvenile is any child below 18 any child below 18 and it is proved that accused is how many years old that means the child is 17 year old that is juvenile and my dear friend listen one thing for juvenile we have juvenile court anyone who can tell me which magistrate is in juvenile court it is first class judicial magistrate first class gm and juvenile is a child below 18 so doctor sir here answer is he was 17 year old a child accidentally took a bottle full of iron tablets sir actually this is a very simple question iron tablet which drug was used an antidote of poisoning anything which is having iron in the word ferrous the chelating agent used was defloxamine defloxamine very very important so my dear friend defloxamine is used as a antidote defloxamine is used for antidote one question i put here penicillamine is a chelating agent of which one tell me dear penicillamine it is c for copper damsa is a oral chelating agent my dear friend damsa dimer captosuccinic acid it is a oral genetic agent it is used mainly for lead lead these are other drugs but just remember these are the important chelating acid bal 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 can be used for arsenic look so what is another name of the bal bal dimer caplol sometime the bal bal is a british antileucite sometime the bal word is not given what they give the word dimercaplol so these are some very very important chelating agent you should keep in your mind chelating agent are used for metals gutter fracture sir gutter 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 is caused by bullet tangential bullet so looks like it's very simple it is a oblique bullet or tangential bullet that produces the fracture in skull bone that is known as gutter fracture so very simple answer it is caused by bullet gutter fracture 
But just remember, it's not perpendicular bullet. It is a tangential bullet that will produce a fracture. It is known as gutter fracture. Now, sir, if a 19-year-old female patient presented to emergency unconscious and non-contrast CT, they will hydrocephalus, requiring urgent neurosurgical intervention. Urgent, urgency is there. The patient and nobody accompanying or any identity proof, what should the doctor do? Sir, first of all, it is a urgent condition, serious condition, life-threatening condition. Doctor should start operation without consent. This is 92 IPC. But sir, it is only applicable for life-threatening condition or urgent condition. Now, two questions I am putting. For general physical examination, GPE, if you want to give consent, what should be your age? Yes, anyone? It is about 12 years. For surgery, if you want to give consent, what should be your age? That is about 18 years. Because surgery is a risky procedure. But for life-threatening condition, doctor can start the treatment without the consent. Which IPC or which law it deals with, that is 92 IPC. 92 IPC. Very, very simple question. A 40-year-old patient was brought by police in unconscious state to the casualty with history of unknown poisoning, sir. On examination, the patient had needle track marks over upper limbs. Needle track marks. Patient has increased blood pressure. Yes, first thing. Increase heart rate, second thing. Increase temperature. Dr. Sab, all are sympathetic stimulation. Sympathomimetic toxidrome. Sympathomimetic toxidrome. And Dr. Sab, this is seen in a very, very simple one. It is cocaine. Cocaine. Sympetho mimetic toxidrome, it is seen in cocaine. What are the other name of cocaine? C for cocaine, C for crack, C for cock, and we also use word C for she. And one question I have seen in exam, cocaine is also known as white lady. The lady, white lady. The white lady and it is also known as, it is known as white lady, it is also known as snow. But sir, just remember, it is sympathomimetic toxidrome, sympathetic stimulation, this is cocaine. And uh, one tactile hallucination that is frequently asked in exam in cocaine poisoning, that's a magnan symptom, tactile hallucination, you feel like insects are crawling on your skin, magnan symptom. Which of the hanging does weight of the head act as a constricting force. Look, sir, only weight of the head act as a constricting force. So you can see this picture. In complete hanging, no part of the body touching the ground, the whole body weight will act as a constricting force. But in complete hanging, which is also known as partial hanging, the weight of head, the weight of head will act as a constricting force. If the Complete body weight is a constricting force, it's a complete hanging, and weight of the head is a constricting force, it's a partial or incomplete hanging. This is complete, this is partial or incomplete. So, as you can see in this question, if only weight of head acts as a constricting force, it means some part of the body is touching the ground, the answer will be partial. Now, what about and complete means the whole body is suspended. What about what about typical? and atypical hanging, position of the knot. If the position of the knot is at occiput here, it is typical and any other place, my dear friend, if the position of knot, any other place, not here, 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 it will be atypical. So anyways, the weight of the head is a constricting force that is a partial hanging or incomplete hanging. Now, sir, same very simple question. Again, I am coming to my dear friend. Because this image, first of all, identify this is the image of Kareth. Kareth is a neurotoxic. Cause of death is respiratory muscle paralysis or respiratory. 
failure. What is the question comes? Which of the following option describe the symptoms seen in classical inpatient by snake shown in this one? So you can see it is very simple. Non-poisonous generally has a dry bite. So it is not non-poisonous. Severe edema, necrosis and bleeding. My dear friend, it is viper. And we can easily remember V for viper, V for vascular toxic that will cause bleeding. Severe muscle necrosis and rhabdomyolysis. It is of myotoxicity. Myotoxic snake is sea snake. But sir, neurotoxicity and muscle paralysis, this is a very simple one. This is karet. So look, sir, this karet snake is given, neurotoxicity and muscle paralysis is given. That's a very simple question generally asked in exam. A patient was referred, so Dr. Sir, you can see, again I am telling you, vascular toxicity, viper, there will be bleeding. Neurotoxicity, respiratory muscle paralysis, this is neurotoxic, karet or cobra. Rhabdomyolysis, myotoxicity is of sea snake and dry bite, that's a non-poisonous, but it is karet. Now, sir, a patient was referred by a doctor to the radiologist for a CT scan and the doctor was given money for the referral. Actually, sir, this is, you are splitting the fee. It is fee splitting and you are dividing in as a commission. But sir, this fee splitting is known as dichotomy. And it is unethical, it is called as dichotomy. Very simple, sir. So, it is fee splitting is known as dichotomy. You are dividing the fee, giving as a referral fee. This is known as dichotomy. It is not... It is like I would say it's an unethical act. It is an unethical act. A 24-year-old male present with excessive desire of sexual intercourse. Look, so I told you, male, male has an excessive sexual desire. This is known as satyriasis. Female, if it is in female, it is known as nymphomania. If you want to get pain, if you want to suffer pain, it is masochism and FR. Female is rubbed in crowded place. It's a fruturism. So I already told you what is the IPC of fruturism. Yes, my dear friend, 290. I told you the trick also. F-R-O, O is the last third one. This is a 290. That's a 290. So excessive sexual desire in male, the answer is satyriasis. Excessive sexual desire in female, it is nymphomania. Ah, and if you are giving pain to the partner, my dear friend, that is known as sadism. This is known as sadism. Very, very simple explanation. Now, sir, this finding, a specific group of muscle contracted, specific group of muscle contracted and no primary relaxation phase. This is very simple, my dear friend. Cadaveric spasm. Cadaveric spasm. Just remember, my dear friend, that cadaveric spasm gives idea about manner of death. Cadaveric spasm gives idea about manner of death. Rigor mortis takes some time to develop, but it is seen immediately after death. It is not rigor mortis. It is not cutis anserina. Cutis anserina is a contraction of erector pili muscle, goose flesh. It is not. It is not washerwoman hand. The changes in drowning. Washerwoman hand are seen in the changes in drowning. Can be antemortem, can be postmortem. But sir, this is very simple. A contraction of the. It means what is cadaveric spasm? The muscle which is contracted at the time of death remain contracted after death. It's like exclusively antemortem event. It is exclusively anti-mortem event that is cadaveric spasm very very important sir now sir first try to identify this sir this is shrinkage the body shrunk the water is out the body is shrunk the water is out this is known as mummification This is known as mummification. And one very simple MCQ 
what is the smell of mummified body the answer is odorless the pungent smell or i would say the word comes ammonical smell the pungent smell or ammonical smell a for ammonical a for it is seen in adipose ear a for ammonical it is seen in adipose ear but sir just remember the climate also for adipose ear we require warm and humid climate my dear friend for adipose ear we require warm and humid climate for mummification we require dry and hot climate dry and hot climate is for mummification warm and humid climate is required for adipose ear so if the pungent smell word was there but it is a mummified body that the answer is odorless now you can see this is adipose ear adipose ear is also known as saponification it is also known as saponification or grave wax grave wax just like a wax it's a greasy grave wax warm and humid warm and humid climate identify the test shown in the image below for the blood stain i told you the two tests for seminal stain now i am coming to the blood stain sir for blood stain we use two tests number 1 is takayama number 2 is tikman so how would you remember tikman man man is equal to man man is equal to man and doctor so what's the color of the man it's a brown rhombic color man has brown rhombic crystal takayama takatak takayama takatak who is takatak in your life the color which is pink pink feathery pink feathery crystal that will be takayama pink feathery crystal that would be takayama so doctor how would you remember again i am telling you a very simple trick tichman man man the color of the man it's a brown color that's a brown rhombic crystal so without any doubt the answer here is tichman because the picture is showing the brown rhombic crystal if pink feathery crystal are shown it is takayama and doctor how to remember taka taka what is takata in your life pink color is takata the barbarios and florence this i already discussed these are the test of semen barbarios s s for spermy florence c for choline crystal these are the trick which you have to remember in your exam this i already told you takata which color is takata my dear friend pink color is takata pinkish things are takata takata takayama now sir which of the following is a abnormal method used for criminal abortion doctor first you have to tell me one thing what is the ipc start for criminal abortion c c is the third alphabet a is the first alphabet b is the second alphabet so it's very simple criminal abortion ipc start with 312 312 till 316 312 if mother is giving consent it's a 312 and if mother is not giving consent it will be 313 other are 314 315 316 but what trick is there just see the trick very simple trick as you can see c the third alphabet a b a b first and second alphabet so this will be the ipc of criminal abortion now what is the method used for criminal abortion dilation uh, which is used for dilation in curitas dnc is used for normal method my dear friend mifepristone is a very important drug for normal abortion vacuum aspiration can also be done but sir this abortion stick it 12 to 18 cm long stick soaked in juice or plant irritant putting inside the vagina this is used for criminal abortion this is abortion stick 12 to 18 cm stick causes vaginal irritation so one of the method of criminal abortion is abortion stick very very important question a lucid interval is classical associated with which of the following sir what is lucid interval sir if the patient is unconscious then become conscious then again become unconscious this interval of consciousness is known as lucid interval and my dear friend it is seen in edh extra dural hematoma 
extradural hematoma is due to rupture of mamma mamma what is mamma it's a middle meningeal artery extradural hematoma is e for extradural e for idly shape it's a biconvex subdural hematoma s for subdural hematoma s for sickle shape it is concavo convex sickle shape it, if you see it's a just like this sickle shape rupture of bridging veins causes subdural hematoma but anyway sir our main topic is lucid interval is seen in the answer is extra dural hematoma edh so here answer is edh now the upper limit of the medical termination of the pregnancy according to the mtp act sir generally the upper limit for new act it's say 24 weeks okay now up to 20 week we require one doctor and 22 24 week we require two doctor 20 to 24 week we require two doctor so this is a new mtp act up to 20 week we require one doctor 20 to 24 weeks we require two doctor it has new changes in MTP Act in 2020 and 21. These are the changes. So now MTP can be done up to 24 weeks. The maximum thing. Now, sir, what is this? A young teenage boy present to the emergency with history of some drug abuse and party a couple of hours ago. Some of the symptoms were diaphoresis, increased sweating, headache, anxiety, and hyperactivity. On examination, there was tachycardia and hypertension. Which of the following? Look, sir, one thing is clear. Your heart rate is increased. Your BP is increased. Increased sweating, anxiety, and hyperactivity. What is the most common substance? So, look, sir, one thing is clear. It is very simple. It is again a sympathomimetic toxidrome. This is nothing but it's a cocaine. Look, sir, if you see, if you see the finding of respiratory depression and pinpoint pupil, then your answer goes in opioid. But sir, these are the symptoms of sympathomimetic toxidrome. This is cocaine, crack, and this. And look, sir, remember, cocaine plus heroin. That is known as speedball. So, what is speedball? Speedball is heroin plus cocaine. Heroin plus cocaine is speedball. Very, very potential. So, here the answer is cocaine. Which of the following diagnoses give the hematological picture, my dear friend? This is question. And also, these are blue color dot. in rbc blue dot in rbc and this blue dot in rbc this is known as basophilic stippling just remember one word my dear friend the name is basophilic stippling but it is not seen in basophil this is seen in rbc blue dot in rbc and also these are the feature of chronic lead poisoning Chronic lead poisoning, it is also known as saturanism. Chronic lead poisoning, it is also known as saturanism. And we use one more word, plumbism. We use one more word, plumbism. Minamata disease was due to mercury poisoning. Arsenic poisoning, there are many R in arsenic. Red velvety mucosa, raindrop pigmentation, nail findings, eldritch mees line. R, R is R, red velvety mucosa, red enteral pigmentation, eldritch mesline, line, mesline. line. But anyway, sir, if this picture is given, this is saturanism or plumbism. This is known as chronic lead poisoning. So, my dear friend, this is known as chronic lead poisoning, plumbism or saturanism. So, if this picture, even the blue line on the gums in the same thing, we have 
blue line on gums this is known as bitonian line this is known as bitonian line for lead poisoning we give the treatment for encephalopathy for encephalopathy there is a lead encephalopathy we give the treatment that is edta plus ball edta plus ball what is ball dimercaprol british anti leucine so this is very very important sir now sir if you want to come this question just see the important word my dear friend because like this is a very lengthy question a 23 year old farmer work as from a remote village is brought to the hospital 8 hours later following a snack bite at 5 in the morning the patient complained of headache blood vision tingling sensation around the mouth dizziness and vertigo and multiple episode of vomiting since the bite he was having the sign of respiratory depression sir ye hamara kaam aa gaya respiratory depression and bradycardia the local wound showed mild swelling and blistering there was no apparent bleeding manifestation he was administered 10 vials of anti venom which of the following is the subsequent step of management subsequent step of management now sir no apparent bleeding manifestation check the blood coagulation profile incorrect he was administered 10 vials of anti venom okay now after this what should be given probably my dear friend after this we will give neostigmine and atropine this is anti snake venom already given and this is a very important finding respiratory depression and bradycardia bradycardia respiratory depression and bradycardia so this we presume as a cobra bite cobra bite and my dear friend in cobra bite what we give this one my dear friend we give that is neostigmine with atropine neostigmine and atropine now listen my dear friend very very carefully if neostigmine is given why neostigmine is given the reason is cobra venom act on post synaptic cleft post synaptic cleft and the neostigmine also act in the post synaptic cleft and atropine is used with neostigmine to check or to counteract cholinergic muscarinic cholinergic effect to check muscarinic cholinergic effect ah if there is a bleeding severe bleeding that is a viper but it's a severe respiratory depression and bradycardia my dear friend that means the person is collapsing that means it's suggestive of cobra bite and if it is suggestive of cobra bite we will go for neostigmine and uh, atropine neostigmine is given because it acts on the post synaptic cleft and kareth neostigmine is not given because kareth venom act in the pre synaptic area and atropine to check the muscarinic effect anti snake venom 10 vials anti snake venom involves four snake kareth cobra viper viper are two type russell viper and so scale viper so these are four snake which are covered in anti snake venom what are these four snake kareth cobra russell viper and so scale viper so the next step will be this now so we can see you can see neostigmine action i already told you it is in cobra now neostigmine is given in cobra now just see these three mechanism asv is anti snake venom neostigmine plus atropine plus mechanical ventilation because there is a respiratory depression this is done in cobra but sir asv and mechanical ventilation neostigmine and atropine are not given the answer will be correct what is the reason i told you kareth toxin act at the pre synaptic cleft cobra at post asv fresh frozen plasma in surgical debridement surgical debridement this is a treatment of viper so again i am telling you asv neostigmine plus atropine plus mechanical ventilation if this is very important treatment of cobra only asv plus mechanical ventilation it's a kareth and 
ASV fresh frozen plasma and surgical debridement of the necrosis or necros area or the gangrenous area, it is a treatment of viper. So just remember this one, very, very important. Thing. So as you can identify, this is king cobra and this is cobra. How to identify, sir? Cobra has hood and, and over the hood you have the spectacle. Both are neurotoxic. Both are neurotoxic. And you can remember, cobra is a nag, nag, naja, naja. The geological name is naja, naja, cobra. This king cobra is Ophiophagus. Ophiophagus. The king cobra is Ophiophagus. And cobra is naja, naja. Ophiophagus, it is eating the snake. That's why it is known as Ophiophagus. Common crate, I already told you to identify the common crate by white and black stripe. It is also neurotoxic, same like king cobra and cobra. So, this first group of the snake is this one. This is neurotoxic and this is also neurotoxic. How would you identify? By this, this one, black and white stripes. Russell Viper, you will see the three row of the brown scale, Bengarus, diamond shape brown scale this is russell viper and i already told you v for viper v for vesculo toxic there will be symptoms of bleeding and everything again the so scale viper there will be angulated scale with coiled around coiling around this is a so scale viper so both are viper both are vesculo toxic coiling will be there that is this one now c snake i already told you c snake is myotoxic C snake is myotoxic. Another very, very important word. Myotoxic. So it causes rhabdomyolysis. Renal failure it subsequently. So as for C snake, as for it act on skeletal muscles. C snake. Now, sir, you can see I identify the C snake by flat tail that helps in the paddling. Paddling. Myotoxic. So these are some snack and just I, I want to emphasize this point again, my dear friend. If you want to treat the cobra, just go for anti-snake venom, mechanical ventilation, neostigmine plus atropy. If you want to go for the treatment of kareth, ASV plus mechanical ventilation. ASV is anti-snake venom. And if you want to go for the treatment of viper, ASV plus fresh frozen plasma, plus you can go for the surgical debridement. Very, very potential one. Now, sir, another important one. A man regularly deprives, derives sexual gratification by inflicting pain upon a partner. I already told you, if you are inflicting pain upon a partner, it is a sadism. Suffering pain, masochism. Fetishism and voyeurism. I told you V for voyeurism, V for watching. Watching. But sir, fetishism, fetishism is by inanimate object if you are satisfied with some inanimate object it is known as fetishism like a male is taking panty bra of female then satisfied it's a fetishism 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 so Raksav, this was a very simple you would produce cut and cigarette burn on the partner this is sadism Fetishism by inanimate object, you are satisfied. It is known as fetishism. Very, very important. As per the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Amendment Bill 2020, induction of the MTP in mentally ill rape victim, very, very important one, rape victim is allowed until what age of gestation? Now, sir, you can see. Up to 20 weeks, up to 20 weeks, if there is a contraceptive failure, you can go for MTP, medical termination of pregnancy. Pregnancy, rape, incest and vulnerable female up to 24 weeks. So, Dr. Saad, this was a clear cut answer for this. The answer is, because it's case of rape victim, we can go for up to 24 weeks. Contraceptive failure, up to 20 weeks. Huh. Incest, vulnerable female pregnancy, yes, it is up to 24 weeks. Now, more than 24 weeks, we have to make medical board for substantial fetal abnormality. 
that is the only condition where we can go for more than 24 weeks but sir you have to make the board of ops gynae pediatrician radiologist or sonologist or any other gazetted officer or member but sir if female life is in danger then it is any time my dear friend then it is any time but sir most of the cases it is up to 24 week only substantial fetal abnormality if we make the board then we can go for that is more than 24 weeks and if the female life is in danger that is any time these are some conditions up to 20 weeks as i told you we require one doctor and more than 20 uh, 22 24 week we require two doctor this i already discussed so here answer is without any doubt 24 weeks now my dear friend you are working as an internal medicine consultant my dear friend very simple at a private clinic a patient with chronic renal disease requiring hemodialysis is admitted under you you advise diet and fluid control and keep him under observation however the patient progresses to take ayurvedic supplement my dear friend and sometimes skip the your instruction without disclosing to you or it his condition worsens yes and develops difficulty in breathing his attendant files a complaint in court alleging that negligence of a doctor which of the following will be a defense in the court looks it's very simple you have to defend that he was taking ayurvedic medicine and not following your instruction that means you will get a defense in contributory negligence contributory negligence is negligence contributed by doctor and patient if doctor proves that there was a negligence of patient also this is a contributory negligence it is a very important defense in civil case so here contribution of patient is there very very important this is not vicarious liability Vicarious liability is liability of master or employer. It's a liability of employer. Let master answer. In Fortis Hospital, if you are working and negligence is by you, the first employer will give the answer. This is vicarious liability. It is not res ipsa loquitur. Res ipsa loquitur. What is res ipsa loquitur? A surgeon forgot swab in the body this is res ipsa loquitur thing or fact which speaks for itself this is not therapeutic misadventure during treatment during treatment in if there is any unintentional complication if during treatment any unintentional accidental complication take place this is therapeutic misadventure this is therapeutic misadventure. But sir, anyways, this is contributory negligence. The contribution of patient is there. So, doctor, this is a during the examination of victim of assault, you noticed a wound with ragged, irregular and uneven margin. Yes, like this. Tears diverging at the angle from the end. It means, sir, tears diverging at the end from the main wound and this is this phenomena is known as swallow tail bleeding of the wound is not significant the reason is why bleeding is not significant because of crushing of the blood vessels showing crushed blood vessels and hair bulb you would document this as which injury margins this one swallow tail yes divergence crushing of the blood vessels and hair follicle without any doubt it is a lacerated wound so how would you identify irregular margin by swallow tail by crushed hair bulb and crushed blood vessels this is laceration which of the following statement doesn't apply during cross examination in court of law cross examination first c cross examination is by opposite party lawyer first question in cross examination there is no time limit second question 
in cross examination one question is allowed which is known as leading question leading question is a question which has answer in yes or no so three important point no time limit it is by opposite party lawyer it is leading questions are allowed leading question is a question which has answer in yes or no so what is not correct about the cross examination sir normal witness is examined by the defense lawyer witness means it's a public witness public witness is examined by defense lawyer yes it's a opposite party public witness is examined by defense lawyer defense lawyer is opposite party public witness and public prosecutor are same party defense witness and defense lawyer are same party so this is correct leading question are not allowed my dear friend leading question are allowed so it doesn't imply it's a wrong answer objective of cross examination is to weaken the case of opponent yes my dear friend it is the weaken the case of opponent there is no time limit of cross examination yes my dear friend so only thing which is incorrect that is leading question are not allowed leading questions lq are allowed what is leading question the question which has answer in yes or no so your public witness is examined by defense lawyer it's a opposite party it is to weaken the case and there is no time limit of cross examination this is very very important which of the following test is used to differentiate human blood from the blood of other species i would like to highlight the word species for species identification we use the precipitin test tickman man tichman takayama these are for blood stain barbirios for semen barbirios for semen this tickman and takayama for blood tichman man man which color brown takayama which color is takatak pink color is takatak barbirios barber yellow needle needle barber use needle precipitin for species identification look sir which of the following feature add in the differentiation of two bruise from an artificial bruise means what are the feature of artificial bruise which is not seen in artificial bruise what means true bruise differentiated from artificial bruise what are what is not a feature of artificial bruise see in artificial bruise positive chemical test because whatever chemical we are using there will be positive yes it is correct progression of color bruises over time my dear friend artificial bruise doesn't have color change it is wrong regular and well defined margin sir artificial bruise you will use a substance over the area there will be regular margin so this is right presence of vesicle or irritation it's right to look sir which is not seen the color change an artificial bruise are produced by three plant you can remember by psm psm p for plumbago s for semicarpus and m for madar madar is also known as callo tropis so what are the plant you can see yes my dear friend plumbago semicarpus and madar madar is also known as callotropis so which is not seen the change in the color is not seen in the artificial bruise so just remember it is very very important which is not a feature of artificial bruise which is a feature of true bruise this is a feature of true bruise bruise by trauma now sir a 20 year old male is brought to the emergency on examination his pulse rate is 50 bp is 80 to 60 respiratory rate doctor sir 7 breath per minute that's a respiratory depression and his temperature 95 degree fahrenheit he has pin point pupil and disoriented pin point pupil highlighted point pin point pupil respiratory depression this is a classical manifestation of opioid intoxication opioid intoxication not opioid withdrawal opioid withdrawal will be opposite in opioid withdrawal there will be dilated pupil midriasis will be there secretion will be increased so anyways sir this is fruit of opium fruit of opium heroin is a semi synthetic product 
heroin is a semi synthetic product of opium semi synthetic heroin now sir what are the feature of opium you can remember by a trick morphine mo meiosis o orthostatic hypotension r respiratory you can say the hypotension bp was low respiratory depression pain relief histamine release that causes bronchospasm hypothermia as the temperature was given low hypothermia increase ict in frequency of the urine and the feces that's a constipation increase intracranial tension nausea the antidote is mainly naloxone euphoria that is a disorientation and you can add one more word that is sedation these all are the feature of opium intoxication m o r p h i n e morphine is a product of opium now why it is not opium withdrawal sir the withdrawal effect are if you see yawning very important one yawning insomnia dysphoric mood dehydration but sir secretion of the body are increase very important secretion there is rhinorrhea you can get a question in opium withdrawal rhinorrhea is there nasal secretion are increase increase bp increase heart rate increase respiration pilo erection and midriasis as i told you opposite to meiosis midriasis secretion are increased so look sir this you keep in your mind this is opium withdrawal symptom just see increase bp increase heart rate increase respiration in opium intoxication respiratory depression decrease bp decrease pulse rate there opium intoxication pinpoint pupil it's a midriasis here secretions are increased dysphoric mood very very important so anyway sir these are the very important feature you can see the answer here is opium intoxication which of the following test cannot be used to detect blood stain which cannot be used for blood stain yes this one this one this one these all are the tests sir spectroscopy is the most specific test for blood stain but sir what is your answer which is not used for blood stain barbirios barbirios is used for semen barbirios is used for semen the best simple answer and doctor sir you have seen in most of the question you have seen barbirios florens tichman takayama one question always comes in exam isliye galti mat karna in case of the custodial death it is handled by sir actually the best answer will be judicial magistrate but sir judicial magistrate is not given in option the second best answer you can see use executive magistrate but anyways sir it is a magistrate inquest i already discuss 176 crpc magistrate inquest identifying the type of homicide caused by smothering and traumatic asphyxia i'll tell you all the word mugging mugging is killing with the help of forearm or elbow this is mugging garroting friends in spain and turkey this is judicial strangulation this is judicial strangulation it is known as garroting doctor sir this combination is known as burking bansidola bansidola is by stick killing by stick is known as bansidola bans ke beech mein dola so only method which is left my dear friend here is burking burking is a combination of smothering and traumatic asphyxia this is mugging judicial strangulation is garroting a person is sitting and they are compressing the neck this is garroting and between two stick bans ke beech mein dola that is bans dola burking is a combination of this and even you can see this burking is homicidal method overlaying is accidental method and you can see this is a picture of burking this is a picture of burking you can see this is smothering yes and you are sitting on the chest this will cause traumatic asphyxia and if you compare overlaying is accidental 
वॉट इज अवर लिंग मदर स्लीपिंग बिसाइड हर चाइल्ड एंड मदर कम्स ओवर द चाइल्ड एक्सीडेंटली दिस इज नॉन एज ओवर लिंग बट माई डियर फ्रेंड बर्किंग इज होमिसल बर्किंग इज होमिसल सो जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस इज Barking. So here answer is barking. A very very potential word. Now, sir, according to the law, nothing is an offence if a person is of an unsound mind and not able to understand that the nature and consequence of act which are wrong. Which rule of the insanity applies in the case? Look, sir, if any word comes like unsound mind, that will be equal to either McNaughton rule or eighty four IPC. in durham's rule in durham's rule the product word will come if any three or four lines are given and product word comes that will be durham's in current's rule the capacity word will come so i am highlighting here if you see the capacity word comes that will be current's and free agency of will if this word comes that's a irresistible impulse test so i'm telling you unsoundness of mind the answer will be macnaughton's rule product word comes durham's rule capacity c for capacity word comes current's rule and free agency of the will is lost if this word comes this is irresistible impulse test So this is a very important MCQ. Here you can see the answer is MacNaughton's rule. Now postmortem examination of the dead body reveals contraction of the hand with absence of primary relaxation. I already told you this is cadaveric spasm. What is Elgar mortis, my dear friend? Temperature of the body decreases. What is liver mortis? Postmortem staining or lividity. This is postmortem staining or rigor mortis. I already told you. Study of death in all aspect is known as study of death in all aspect is known as thanatology. Now, anyone who can tell me what is the study of post mortem changes known as study of post mortem changes. This branch is known as taphonomy. The study of post mortem changes. This branch is known as taphonomy. toxicology is study of poison anthropology is study of anthropo things molecular death is also known as cellular death so these are the death in all aspect this branch is known as thanatology taphonomy study of post mortem changes molecular death is a cellular death toxicology study of poison my dear friend following the recovery of the bee head its skull bones are highlighting a word skull bone by the police the relative of the missing person wants to confirm his identity by skull bone you are confirming the identity which of the following technique can be used to figure out person identity using the bee head its skull on photograph means be added skull x ray on photograph this technique is known as superimposition so as for superimposition as for we are using skull bone skull bone now other technique as you can see yes anthropometry we are using body marks body measurement and description of the body body marks body measurement and description of the body descriptive data of the body what are the marks present on the body mole scar body measurement height length width and description this branch is known as anthropometry dna fingerprinting my dear friend dna fingerprinting is for paternity or maternity dispute and chiloscopy is the study of lips that's a lip print 
But anyway, sir, this branch where we use the B-headed skull X-ray over the photograph, this is superimposition. Body marks, body measurement, and descriptive data, anthropometry. As I told you, forensic anthropology. DNA fingerprinting for paternity and maternity dispute to check the paternity problem, maternity problems. Chiloscopy study of lip prints. In which of the following cherry red hypostasis is seen in carbon monoxide poisoning, hydrogen sulfide, I already told you. Blue green, yellow phosphorus, phosphorus, brown. Hydrogen cyanide, brick red. Brick red. So this is very simple question, frequently asked in the exam. A public witness of the incident is asked to attend the court and record his evidence. Which type of evidence is provided by this? So it's a public witness is asked to attend the court. It means he is giving oral evidence. It means he is giving oral evidence. So you can see what is the evidence. If you are giving oral evidence, you are a direct evidence. You are a direct evidence. And what is the direct evidence? Like C. A killed. A killed B. And you have seen. C has seen the crime. C is a direct evidence. Oral evidence. He can give the oral evidence. that I have seen a crime. So oral evidence will be a direct evidence. But now. What happens if C has come out, C came out and C told this incidence to D, C told or said to this incidence to D, D is an example of here's evidence, not a direct evidence. C is a direct evidence because he, he had seen the crime. But C is telling this to the D. D is a hearsay evidence. Now, sir, one example is indirect evidence. Like you are taking collateral fact from the inference, maybe it withdrawn, maybe drawn. It's a corroborative evidence. What is the example of the corroborative evidence? C. If A after killing, A after killing came out with knife and E has seen this A with knife, this E is an example of corroborative evidence. E will give because E has saw, not seen the murder, but A was coming out and e, e has seen the A with knife, that is this one. So this is indirect evidence. And one more indirect evidence is circumstantial evidence. Example, fingerprint of A found in the crime scene. Fingerprint of A was found in the crime scene. This is circumstantial evidence. Again, one of the example of indirect evidence. Indirect evidence. So I am telling everything. A public witness is speaking everything. It's a oral evidence. Oral evidence is an example of direct evidence. If you are hearing that crime has taken place, you are example of hearsay evidence, hearing and seeing. Indirect evidence, one example is corroborative evidence. A came out with a knife and E has seen that person with knife. A e is an example of corroborative evidence. Fingerprint of A was found in the crime scene. That is circumstantial evidence. Again, example of indirect evidence. Subpoena is not a evidence. Subpoena is actually a document. This document is known as summon, which is given to the witness to attend the court. Subpoena summon. Subpoena. Now, Doksav, which of the following is not a feature of stage of excitement in acute cocaine poisoning? Actually, the person wants to ask. Like, which is not a feature of acute cocaine poisoning? Which is a feature of chronic cocaine poisoning? So, very, very simple. 
in chronic cocaine poisoning, there is a cocaine bug, which is also known as magnan symptom, a tactile hallucination. It is a feature of chronic cocaine poisoning. Other feature, feeling of well-being, which is known as euphoria, excessive pleasure, which is seen in acute cocaine poisoning. Tingling and numbness in the hand and feet seen in acute cocaine poisoning. Dilated pupil, rapid pulse and sweating all are seen because I told you it's a sympathomimetic toxidrome. Everything is increased. BP, heart rate, sweating, these all are increased which is not seen in which is not seen in acute cocaine poisoning that is a magnan symptom or cocaine bug. That's a tactile hallucination. So this cocaine bug is a feature of chronic cocaine poisoning. Now a 50 year old factory worker was brought to the emergency room with complaint of headache, vomiting, blurring of the vision after he consumed local sprit. Local sprit. Local sprit means without any doubt it is methanol. Which of the following is used for treatment of this condition sir? My dear friend, for methanol poisoning, the best antidote is ethanol. Ethanol. But here ethanol is not given in option. So we can use fomipazole. And Doxa, remember, fomipazole inhibits alcohol dehydrogenase. Fomipazole inhibits alcohol dehydrogenase. Flumaginyl is an antidote of benzodiazepine, BJD. Anacetylcysteine is an antidote of paracetamol. And naloxone is an antidote of opioid products. Flumaginyl is an antidote of benzodiazepine. Anacetylcysteine is an antidote of paracetamol. Naloxone is an antidote of opioid. Fomipazole is an antidote of methanol. But which is the better antidote? That is ethanol. Ethanol is a competitive inhibitor of for alcohol dehydrogenase. It's a competitive inhibitor of methanol. And alcohol dehydrogenase is inhibited by fomipazole. So these are some questions you can get in your exam. All of the following changes are seen in chronic starvation except, sir, hyperthermia. Yes, there will be exhaustion. In starvation, is a lack of food and supply. There will be exhaustion. There will be heart atrophy. That is a brown atrophy of the heart. There will be decreased BP because your fluid loss is there, which is not seen. Hyperthermia is not seen. Increased temperature of the body is not seen in chronic starvation. So, my dear friend, this was a very, very important session we have discussed here. Please grow, go through this session because this is very, very important. Because you can see many questions and many topics are repeated here. So, best of luck for your FMG exam. Dr. This is one of the most important sessions. According to me, at least you will get 12 to 15 MCQs from forensic medicine. Good luck. Goodbye.